live from PA TV studios. It's the Lyle Style Show. And now, the man with the most style, it's your host, Lyle Style. Hey, hey, welcome to a beautiful edition of the Lyle Style Show. Oh my goodness. Hey, my show, this is Lyle Style coming to you on PA TV. This is, I got a good experience for it. I have a good show. I can't believe that I have these folks on my show talking to them. We, we got the Gap experience with me, sitting down, chatting with me, so uh, we're going to get the show on the road. Hey, y'all, welcome, welcome to the Lyle Style Show. All right, all right. Good. Hey, 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 now, 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 Raymond, Raymond Calhoun, now, Raymond Calhoun, now. Okay, y'all can introduce yourselves right fast so the viewers to know who we talk to. Is Raymond. Yep, Raymond Calhoun. Uh, my name is Billy Young. Um, I'm the owner Scott. Okay. And I'm Anthony Walker, Baby Gap. Okay. <laughs> amen. Amen. So, boy, I mean, look, I'm a fan. I'm, I'm a fan. I mean, cause we, you know, I'm not gonna tell, tell you my age, but I'm a, <laughs> I'm a fan of, 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 of the group. I mean, y'all, yeah, y'all, are age. yeah, yeah, and y'all, y'all, y'all look good. Y'all look good though. But, but, but I want to start off. I want to start talking to uh, Raymond, <laughs> Raymond Calhoun. Now, 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 you, you the drummer. Tell us, tell us a little bit, of, a little bit about how you started uh, with the with the band. Um, Raymond, I got the band and. 79, right on the Get It Up There tour. Uh, with, they were out on the road with Rick James. And uh, I met the guys in Indianapolis uh, after I spoke with a couple of their friends and told me they were looking for a percussionist, drummer, a percussionist. And I went backstage and met the brothers. And uh, oh, never, thought they'd send, that never thought they'd send for me. Uh, but they actually did. I came out to L.A. and, and auditioned and uh, was in the band at that point. Wow, man. What what experience, brother. What experience. I mean, and, and, and the drummer, man. Y'all see, the, about the drummer, it, it's nothing. Because you are, you are kind of like the glue to sort of stuff. You got to do the melody. The drums got to be on time. You know. So how long you been doing, how long you been drumming, man? Oh, man. I've been playing drums since I was five years old. I'm uh, 60 now, so. Mm, mm, mm. Now, I must say, you don't look it, young man. You don't look it. <laughs> Thank you. you look Thank good. You. you look good. So, okay. Now, 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 okay. Oliver Scott. Now, the vocal, now, tell a little bit about yourself. How'd you get started w with the group? Okay. Uh, well, same year, 1979. Same year Raymond got in the band. Uh, I was in school. You know, finishing up a second year at Liberty College and uh, had been studying music and I heard that they were auditioning for trombone players. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, my brother had gone by their rehearsal the day before and told me they were auditioning. And I, I had met the brothers in uh, Tulsa because I used to live there. And so I went to audition and, uh, you know, they heard me play, you know, they had charts and stuff. I read the charts and... Uh, I was living in L.A. at the time, so when they got me going through, they, they actually just hired me on the spot because I could, uh, they had already talked about hiring a trombone player, mm -hmm. but uh, they knew I could sing as well, and so they hired me instead of another guy who was a good player, but he could play and sing. So they hired, they wanted, you know, the more you could do, the more versatile you could be, the more, you know, they could get done on, on the road. And so I got with the band in 79 on that same tour that Raymond was on. I was out there with them that same year. Wow, the same year. I mean, my goodness. So, 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 y'all yeah. brothers then. Y'all, y'all kind of brothers. Y'all been, been there from, from, some, from the beginning, so to speak, then. Yes. Well, from the, yeah, from the beginning of their national success, yes. When they were a local band, when they started having national success, we were the guys that were on the road from the mm -hmm. very first major tour that they did mm -hmm. and stayed with them for years to come. I know myself and Raymond, I guess Billy could tell you his story as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe, yeah. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That wonderful. Now. Now. Okay. Now. Now. We gonna get to you, Billy. Billy. Billy Young. Now. You, you're the keyboard. Tell us a little bit about how, how you get started with, with the uh, with the band, man. Well, I, I was actually in college, and I was doing a lot of these. Um, I'm out of the Church of God of Christ, and I and, and hey, doing the brothers because they're. Their father, their, their, their father was a pastor, and their mother was a missionary in the Church of God in Christ. Mm -hmm. and, 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 
And I was going to all these conventions every year, you know, from when I was young, you know, eight, nine, ten years old. So, so I was playing these conventions, and, and, and one of the keyboard players that was in the band, already named John Black, he told me that he was going to be leaving the band, and, 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 and this was in, in, in 81. I got with the band in 81. Okay. And, 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 and he told me they were going to be leaving, he was going to be leaving the band, and, and, and so he actually, uh, would I be interested in, in joining the band? And, and so uh, I, I, was, I was actually a junior in college, but uh, uh, I, I jumped on a Greyhound bus <laughs> and took a three-day journey hmm. to come out the house, but, and I went directly over to the Total Experience Recording Studio and played, and, 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 and Ronnie and Charlie and, 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 and Robert, they were in the back, and and, and, and I, I played for about five minutes. They said, okay, you in the band. Wow. And, and that, that was it. And, and that, that was it. Um, I, I, now, now um, Raymond and, and Oliver didn't tell you, but, but those are the two guys that wrote the biggest hit in the Gap Band's history. Uh, uh, Calhoun, Raymond Calhoun, he, he, he wrote Outstanding. Oh, really? And, 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 and Oliver Scott wrote Younger for Your Love. Okay. And I was the co-writer on songs like Party Train and, yes. and, and, and a couple of others. <laughs> we had a really nice journey with the band and, 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 and I think it's just about just keeping, keeping the, the legacy of the music going on. Because that was Charlie. Mm -hmm. Charlie's out there doing Charlie. And, 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 and Charlie's endorsed. And, right. and, and, and he has a love for Charlie. Wow, wow, That's man. Something. Hey man, you know, look, my favorite yeah. song is is You Drop the Bomb on Me, baby. Oh, there you you go. Drop the Bomb on Me. Did you turn <laughs> me on, girl? Come on now. Hey man, I could be in the band, man. I'm thinking about coming to <laughs> auditions for y'all. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, hey. And Lost Star got his tell little vocals now. Come on. Come on. Give, give it up for me. Give it up for Style. <laughs> No, man, but yes, sir. yeah, yeah, but hey, you know, I, I want to give with, with, give with Anthony Walker now. Anthony Walker, you know, and how'd you get started? And how'd you get started with that name, Baby Gap? Charlie Wilson gave me that name. We're the youngest out the band at the time. Uh -huh. He said, you know, since you're the baby of the bunch, and we're going to call you Baby Gap. That's <laughs> how I got the name Baby Gap. And that's the name we've been ever since. <laughs> but yeah, I started in the 80s uh, as a dancer. Because uh, at that time, you know, pop locking and breaking was a, was was at the peak at that time mm -hmm. or like that mm -hmm. and I was one of the dancers that you know we was um, dancing and my fact it was only me and Jeffrey Daniels at the time doing it live wow. traveling around the world doing it before then this is way before Michael and everything else jumped out there we was doing it and then I think so it's pretty much uh, I started out there for dancing from that you know been around them, all these talented individuals off this round for years and years mm -hmm. you know you learn this and you learn that and and uh, me and Billy became real close and began, and then we decided uh, Charlie produced the album on us called Billy and Baby Cat. Mm -hmm. So, and when that, uh, yeah, was the first thing he ever produced as so as a, we were the first two offspring from the from Total Experience that did their own, own project. Wow! From that, from that, yeah. Wow! When, when you mm -hmm. sing, you sing and dance. You do your. Are you still doing the singing and dancing or what? Oh yeah, I'll still do that. Man, ain't that change? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I still do one thing. We got, yeah, I said, took it up a couple of notches, but we did. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Hey, Amen. I, I, I love it, man. Now, who, who we got? Do we got Marlon McLean? Is he, is he there with y'all? Yeah, he, 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 no, he's not on the phone, but, but he's with us. Okay. Okay. Uh, what oh, about, yeah, most definitely. Yeah. What about Charles Salter? Uh, I, I, I think he's on his way back to Philly. Hey, Justin, can you come uh, on that? Uh, okay. Oh, that's yeah, right. yeah, I can a little bit. Of maybe, maybe Baby Gap can help out. Okay, yeah, just, okay. Just, come baby, baby Gap, talk to me. Okay, he just what it was. I thought, you know, we, we lost Robert. Yeah. You know, the, the youngest brother the, of, the, of the three brothers. Uh -huh. And we all decided not to let the Gap band legacy just fall, fall to the wayside. So we decided we're going we're gonna to keep the band rolling. So we started looking for somebody that can pretty much... Uh, Step in Charlie's shoes, for, you know, because Charlie's a beast. You gotta, oh, like, yeah. Um, yeah, without a doubt. Like Pretty much. Yeah, so I was on, I was searching through YouTube, and, you know, listening to people, and then I happened to walk to the foul for on this one guy, so, well, yeah, I'm going to sing a song about Uncle Charlie, blah, blah, blah. As soon as he opened his mouth, I come running back. I said, hold up, hold up, we're being a week wet. <laughs> so I got a hold of him, make a long story short, I got in contact with him, uh -huh. and, um, he came out and we was talking about, you know, doing the bad thing, but of course he was too 
far away, he's far, he's in one side of the world. So we decided, you know, Ronnie decided to put the goddamn back together. But Calhoun got a hold of it and said, you know, we looked for this thing. And I said, Calhoun, I got somebody sound just like, just like Charles. Like, well, no, no, baby, I'm not here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Took him a song that he did of Calhoun's. He did Outstanding. He did another version of Outstanding. Okay. And then, you know, from there, you know, we put it all together, got him over here, and, you know, we, we did a little around doing the gap thing for a minute, and now we decided to just break out and just do our own thing and keep it pushing, you know? Right, yeah, and, okay. And okay. That's what we've been doing. Right, and, and, and the gap the, the gap experience. Okay, what, okay. Let's see who I'm a, I'm a where well, Raymond. You probably could tell me a little bit the, the Gap experience. What what does that mean? What is it when this, when people say, "Hey, I'm going to see the Gap experience"? What what are they going to see? Well, um, or here we all ha- have experience from being in the Gap band. All of everybody on here right now for sure. Mm-hmm. We all have our experience uh, of being with the Gap band and touring and contributed to that whole thing and uh you know we uh we actually changed the name now call it the gap x the band oh uh, it sounds a little more commercial right right right. and uh gap x meaning gap and we're the x members of the gap band there you go so uh we kind of coming with something new a little more fresher than that than that gap experience name but they, basically, it's about you know all of our experiences of being with the brothers and traveling and touring and writing, producing the whole experience of that whole thing, that whole era, that whole um, the whole thing with the brothers and the Gap Band, you know. Oh wow! What <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I try to have a yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who, who am I talking to right here? This is <laughs> this is Billy. Billy okay, Young. okay, Bill, okay. Go ahead and talk to me, man. Billy Young. <laughs> Um, just to let you know, the Gap Band basically is defunct. There is no more Gap Band. Oh, okay. Charlie Wilson, the Charlie Wilson let the world know that on TMZ. It ain't no more Gap Band. Really? <laughs> but us, they, all of us, uh, um, whatever tours they did, whatever hit records they had, mm-hmm. we're the guys that, 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 that if not wrote them, played, played, and performed on every last one of them. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I mean, I mean, so, so, so again, what we're doing, like Baby Gap Band, like Calhoun said, is, 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 is we're just we're just trying to keep the legacy of the Gap and uh, uh, the Gap Band alive. That music that, 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 that we create, right, right, yeah, yeah. That yeah sounds... Make no mistake about it. This is all of us. Okay, all of make okay. Make no mistake about it. When he said the Gap Band is no more. Uh, that doesn't mean the music is not anymore. We right. we are the guys who had the hands and the ears and mm-hmm. the voices and played the instruments that helped to build that sound. So the sound is still alive. Okay. We call Gap Day or Gap Experience, but that sound, mm-hmm. uh, like 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 Billy said, we keep it. The sound is ours. And when you hear us play, you'll hear the genuine, authentic Gap Band sound. Mm. You, know, you know, legally you can't use that name, but that sound and the music. It's still alive, and we bring it to life because we were the ones who actually initially breathed life into it. And we were fortunate enough to find a guy who sings out front that has such a, a, a similar sound to Charlie's man. Just a great singer. Mm-hmm. That helps as well. That whole sound alive. So that's basically what we're doing is keeping it. Oh, wow, that Even makes. So we can't use technically that name. Right. Sound. Right. The sound. The, the sound. Get the gap experience. Okay. Now, now, I, I mean, can I see a picture of y'all? Now, who, who's that one that used to wear the hat and then a black mask? Who's that? The bro- That's Roman. Huh? That's Roman Josh. <laughs> <laughs> with, the, with the hat man, the mask man. Now, my goodness, man. I see the yeah. Because yeah. I'm wondering now, who's that brother with the mask on and the in the in the in the, in the, in the hat. <laughs> That's Roman. That's Roman Johnson. He's not on the phone call right now because he uh, he also plays with Stevie Wonder. Oh yeah. Oh, you with Stevie he's Wonder? Comedy. Okay, okay. But yeah. well, he's doing his thing. Yeah, yeah. So hey, so again, okay, getting back to y'all. Okay, uh, hey, hey uh, Anthony Walker, man. And um, okay, Baby Gap. Yeah, Everybody sir. knows you, Baby Gap. And uh, <laughs> you big dude. But uh, now you sing and you dance. Now what? Okay. The songs that y'all sing, singing, whatever, like um, 
uh, you said you, you named some of the songs, whatever that that people that people grew up with. You know, uh, now who 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 sings uh, drop drop the y'all do drop the bomb on me? You, that's Charlie. Charlie. That's Charlie singing lead on all on all the stuff pretty much. Okay, but yeah, but, you, but a lot of the background stuff you hear Calhoun, you hear Gussie, you hear okay. you know, you know, you know uh, them, them sounds been there that actually made made that sound. You know, me mm. being there, I did a lot of the choreography for a lot of the video stuff like that. You okay. know, but just don't throw my two cents in here and there. And uh, now I'm pretty much hyping, depending on the hype band on all the stuff that we're doing now. There you go. Keep everything rolling. But pretty much this band is like, well, you try to explain to you pretty much with uh, the brothers. You, know, you look at the Gap band, you look at Ronnie Robert and Charlie pretty much. Okay. And as when Robert, pretty much when Robert passed, uh -huh. you know, Charlie, Ronnie went off and, you know, and he's preaching. God bless him on that. And Charlie's doing great you know, as far as the solo thing. But as far as the band, you know, everybody asks that question, where's the band? Right. So now you, the question is, now here is the band. We're going by Gap X because okay. we're the ex members of the Gap band. There you go. You know, but like you said, the sound is there. It's, 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 everything's real. This is no joke. This is not a cover band. It ain't none of that. You know, so let's, let's get that straight from the gate. Mm -hmm. And Max T, the new single we have, he's, he's in, he got the incredible voice. He's, it ain't somebody that's just mimicking. That's what he's born and raised with. It. That's his voice. Wow. But he's also a, a very strong writer. So the new material we get ready to to come at you guys with it's gonna be off the chain, so it's, it will speak for itself. I can't believe that. Now, now, when is that coming out? When y'all, when y'all, when y'all new, uh, y'all gonna drop the new, uh, the new uh, album out? When is that coming? Go ahead, go ahead. We are with something a single, as soon as uh, we already have uh, the singles done. We got some other albums, uh -huh. other songs that are gonna be on the album. Well, it's gonna probably be the first quarter, uh, sometime in the first quarter of 2018. Oh, 2008. Oh. And y'all got to come back on the show with that right there, boy. Y'all got to come back on the show and kind of, you know, give us a little taste, lifestyle, a little taste, because, you know, I might be auditioning for the Gap Experience, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm just saying something. I'm going to throw my little two cents in there. <laughs> 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 right now, right? There you go, man. There you go. You dropped the bomb on me, baby. Come on now. You dropped the bomb on me. That, that's my song. That's my song. Now, now I know I know Charles can sing it good or whatever, whatever. But I tell you what, I, I could I could lifestyle. I could talk a lot, but I could do my little dance and sing. So I'm a triple threat with y'all. I, I think that you know if I come on down there with y'all, hey man, everybody's gonna be just climbing. Say hey, lifestyle is with the Gap Experience. <laughs> I'm I'm just throwing that in there. But, <laughs> hey. But, but 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 look, uh, Billy Billy Young. Now you you do the keyboard. How long um, the keyboard? Now that is very. That's a very uh, interesting thing. The thing to do. Now what Billy Billy with the keyboard. I was asking you about, about the keyboard and uh uh and 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 what is that about? I mean, because the keyboard is really a hard thing to 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 kind of you know to kind of play, man. Yeah. No, 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 now mind you. With Gap Experience, you have four keyboard extraordinaires Ooh. that play with this band. This, this band. You, you, you have, I play keyboards, uh, uh, then you have Roman Johnson, he plays keyboards, then you have Oliver Scott, mm -hmm. he plays keyboards, then you got Terry Scott, he plays guitar and, key, and keyboards. So, I mean, and, and all these guys, I mean, I, I count it nothing but a blessing and a pleasure to be, a, to, 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 and, and, and a privilege to be among these guys, cause, because uh, all three of them are, are three of my musical heroes. Wow, yeah. And, and, and no matter how good you think you are or, or whatever, if, if you live to be 125 years old, mm -hmm. uh, um, um, you, you still can learn. And, and I learn from these guys every time we, we hit the stage. We just play at the, uh, the, uh, the, the Taste of L.A. And, 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 and there were 350,000. I think Calhoun told me this morning there were 350,000 people there, probably about 90,000 of them that could only fit in one area to see us. Ooh. And it's a of people. Wow. I mean, as far as you could, as far as, far as you could see, there were people, and we had so much fun. And but every time we step on the stage, I don't care if it's uh, a, a, a thousand people or a hundred thousand people. When I step on stage with these guys, it's 
always an experience. Amen. Always. Amen, brother. Okay, I, I love to hear that. That is a beautiful thing. So, so I, I, Oliver Scott, man, I mean, you being the vocals, man, how, how do you, what is your experience with this? I mean, when you go on stage, do you still get stage fright or are, are you just, are you just. No. <laughs> Huh? No, I mean, I mean, there's, I mean, before you do any show, you know, there's an adrenaline rush. You get fired, right. you charge up, ready to go. But once you sing that first note or play that first note on the instrument, there's no nervousness anyway. You just you're doing what you love to do, mm -hmm. doing what you mm -hmm. were made to do, mm -hmm. and so it the, you feed off the crowd. I mean, you 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 know you end up really just relaxing within the context of the crowd and the rest of the guys. But you know, you're on the stage with a bunch of guys who gonna hold their own. And so you're just basically flowing with that, man. So it's not nervousness at all. It's mm -hmm. just, you know, an excitement and an adrenaline. But then once you hit, boom. That's oh, it. Man, like it just goes higher from that point. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. I I, I get it. Yeah, I, I know. I mean, I can, I can comprehend yeah. that, man. I, you know, I mean, I'll did a little, did a little something, something with it, with my. You, you you hear my voice, man. You know my voice is good, but uh, <laughs> hey, man. I want to. Okay. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying. I mean, you ain't saying that, but you know, loud style got a little voice. But but look, you know, I really want to. I really want to say this about about y'all. Y'all are legends. As far as I'm concerned, I just grew up listening to to the uh, the music. I mean, this is this is what music is about. So I want to ask. I want to ask if anybody want to chime in about this question. Uh, because we only got ten minutes left. What do you think about the music today? Into to, into when y'all was playing. Mm -hmm. And then you have a whole drum, a drum beat and stuff like that. But the, the difference, with, the difference with us, that's why people love and feel what we're doing. Is it, because it, uh, um, you got guys who, who worked on their craft, who woodshed it, who, and, and woodshed it is like you sitting in the basement of the house, like Calhoun. Right. He might even be on his drum, a drum, drum kit. He might be have just, just a pad or some pads there, and for hours and hours. And I was just sitting there just working on just a little bit. And, 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 and that's what all of us have done over the years. And, 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 and that's something that a lot of these young musicians coming up today, they, 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 uh, um, they don't necessarily get, get, get into the feeling of music. And there's guys that can really play, but mm -hmm. they have no feeling. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's the one thing about the band. The feeling thing. A lot of us, a lot of those kids you're talking about, Drop the Bomb, Baron Rubby, Pirate Train, and, and, and those big songs like that. There was no rehearsing and whatnot. We just should get in the, in the studio, everybody get on their instruments and start playing, and then whatever you play, that be the part of the song right there. Wow. <laughs> what an experience, man. What an experience, bro. That is a beautiful thing. I mean, uh, what can I say? I mean, Dad, if I was to fly in one of y'all rehearsals, boy, I would be amazed. I would just love. Love to you know, love to be one of y'all rehearsals and, just, and hear y'all to hear y'all do y'all thing. Um, um, okay, but but okay, so so uh, Oliver, Oliver, you know you you do the vocals, you do other things yeah. with, with the band. Um, so so t tell us, okay, what's next for the Gap Experience that we we, we should know about? What ne what's next? Well, the biggest thing that's next, you know, we we're, we're doing live performances, of course. Uh, but the, the next challenge for us is to do a you know fresh some fresh new music, and like uh, Anthony was saying earlier, Baby Gap was saying earlier, we are all songwriters, and uh, we were fortunate enough you know our lead new lead singer he brings some uh, other resources to the table you know he writes mm -hmm. lyrics and he's got friends from Europe that help him musically and so I think our next big thing that's on the horizon is uh, the, our first project as Gap X the band. And then after that, really getting that out of the public so the public can hear it. So the next step for us is not just keeping the legacy of the Gap Band music alive. Mm -hmm. We're certainly going to keep doing that. 
but coming up with our own project and putting something out that reflects who we are now and how we are connected to what we did in the past. Okay. So you'll hear some of that same flavor, but hopefully, you know, it'll be fresh and exciting and relevant. Hey, so that's the next move, I would say. Okay. You know, that's some other things we're going to do, but that, that certainly is it. We'd like to branch off and you know, do some of those things that you see other artists doing, you know, have uh who knows? Uh, okay. uh, a reality TV show. There you I go. Know. I was. Oh man. Hey, I'm know, done with that. I'm done with that. that. Yes, y'all should be. Y'all uh-huh. definitely should do a reality TV show. I'll be. Yeah, you know. I'll be. And, and, and I could be. I could be a part of the thing with the uh, the announcers. The announcer y'all coming on the. You know that type. I'm, I'm just making up something, man. <laughs> <laughs> let, let, let me tell you on okay, that Go one. ahead. Let go ahead. The question that you asked about, the, you know, the music today and what we do now. Uh huh. The thing yeah. is. We're in between because we come from that from that school of building from the ground up, and now you hear what's going on now, and that's why when you hear the music we do now, if you do it, if you listen to it, the recording we sound just like we would sound on recording live. There you go. Okay, well, none of that, so, and it's easier for you to be able to. If, if, if somebody decided we want to change something up right then there, we create something right on the fly. That's, yeah. that's the difference between performing live. And also having tracks. When you got tracks and you play along with the track, you mm-hmm. can't just do that. If the track pop, the show's over. It's pretty much. So that's the difference between playing live and you know uh, and bringing it real like that. Amen. And with this band taking it to the next level, that's what's going. That's what's going to set up. That's going to take us from doing the gap band thing to also being gap back to put us around. We'll be our own leader, pretty much. I like that. Hey, now, are y'all willing to come back on, on the show when y'all get that together, get, get y'all new album? I'm going to watch y'all back on, man. I want you back on Loud Style Show when y'all get that together. I would love to have y'all on with your new with your new sound and, you know, music and everything. That would be, that'd be a privilege for me. You know? It would be a pleasure. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah, we will, we will, we will love that. Yeah, definitely. And uh, and okay, now, hey, 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 we got. I think we got about mm, four minutes left in the show, so we're gonna be we're gonna be playing your uh, uh, your t- YouTube video coming up. But right before you before y'all go, man, I want to say thank y'all for being a part of my show and coming on doing this interview because I know y'all busy, you know, doing things you have to things you have to do, uh, obligations, whatever. So I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I'm I'm always gonna be a fan. Of the of the gap experience. Thank, thank you, Ray. thank you, Lyle. Thank you, Lyle. Yeah, de- definitely, you, yeah, Raymond. Thank you, Count. Keep doing the drums, Oliver Scott, man, vocals, uh, Billy Young, keyboard. Thank you, and Anthony Walker, Baby Gap, singing, dancing, doing your thing. <laughs> I love it, man. Hey, I, I have to meet y'all one day. We have to. I have to arrange it to, to come to one of your concerts. So we got to definitely do. You have to let me know. Keep in contact. Hey, 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 what city are you in? I, I'm in Iowa City, Iowa. You're in where? Iowa, Iowa City, Iowa. Oh, Iowa. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. And, and we're we're no out, man. Huh? Well, we'll be there. <laughs> you be you be out here in Iowa, man. I'm coming to the concerts. I'm coming. So so you know it's, it's no no problem. So again, hey, thank y'all for for being on the show. Uh, thank you from my heart, and I really appreciate y'all doing this. And uh, so we about to we have to play our video. Uh, and so, hey, keep in contact with me, man. And I will keep contact with y'all. Okay. And uh, we definitely y'all come c- close to the Midwest, man. I'm coming to the concert. Loud style gonna be in there grooving, okay. grooving and moving. Yeah. All right, thank you, yes, sir. Okay. All right, Loud, thank uh, you. All right, God bless you, man. Take care now. Okay. Right, take care. Yep. Bye bye. Right. So hey, bye-bye. yep. This is the gap gap experience. We had them on the show, but before y'all leave, we, we're gonna come up. They got a, a video coming out. We're gonna play that right in a few minutes. I want to say, y'all y'all keep being you know encouraged. Y'all keep doing your dreams, whatnot, and always remember to always be classy when y'all do it. Be classy. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Very yep. Much. Thank you. We come up with, with with the video of the gap experience right now. Yeah.